What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about a game that I'm super excited about. That game is Uncharted 4 at these end. A game that's made by one of my favorite developers of all time, Naughty Dog, and a game that I really can't wait to get my hands on. The 10th is just, oh god, it seems like it's right around the corner, but it's, it's just taken so long to get here, I'm counting the minutes. But, some really, really interesting news has come out about the potential of what this game is going to be. As far as the reviews and as far as the way people are going to receive it, uh, first of all, Naughty Dog, they're really, really known. They've, they've proven their pedigree. They make incredible games. They're on the same level as Rockstar. They make games that really set the bar. They set the bar high, and people have to come and try to meet that bar. And Uncharted 4, from everything I've seen, has really set a new bar for what PlayStation 4 is and what it's going to be in the future. Kind of similar to what they did with the Last of Us and of course the Uncharted games previously. And so Uncharted 4 from what I've seen is a beautiful game. I didn't want to see too much because I don't want it spoiled. All the reviews that I've seen, I've watched some spoiler free reviews of the game. Uh, they've all been up there nines and tens across the board. Tim Getty said 10, IGN 10. Everybody's saying this is like one of the best games of all time. We'll still be talking about it in 10 years. And when you hear that kind of fervor, that kind of speech, then it really piques your interest. And some really interesting news has come out about the potential of this being the highest rated Metacritic game this console generation. I'll drop a link in the description. Uncharted 4 is set to be the greatest game of the generation. Sony's Uncharted 4 at these end is just days away from release and so far, the final installment of the franchise is all set to be the biggest release of the current console generation. Reviews for the game have so far been incredible, helping it reach the highest rated mark on Metacritic for all games released this generation. According to the official Metacritic page for the game, the average score for Uncharted 4 comes in at a whopping 94 out of 100 after the aggregation of around 70 reviews. This is the highest rating for a console game this generation. If you do not take into account the scores of remastered games like The Last of Us or Grand Theft Auto 5, that is. If we are to compare the highest rated games for PC, we find that CD Projekt Red's The Witcher 3 holds the record in that category with the average score of 93 out of 100. Some might notice that Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain holds the record for the highest score of 95 in Microsoft's Xbox One category, but the score is not accurate since it is only based on 10 reviews. That being said, Uncharted 4 is definitely going to be a great masterpiece. Even Xbox's head, Phil Spencer, recently congratulated Sony and Shuhei Yoshida on creating such an impressive piece of work. Spencer congratulated the team on creating another great Uncharted game in a tweet, and in reply, Yoshida acknowledged the kind gesture. Console rivalry aside, a good game is always worth the praise, no matter what platform it's on, and Uncharted is not just a good game, it's one of the greatest games to be seen in history. We cannot wait to get our hands on a copy of the game this May 10th, when Uncharted 4 Thieves End releases exclusively on PlayStation 4. Wowzers! You know, uh, there's a lot of talk out there about exclusives and who has what. And and I'm into exclusives. I like getting my exclusives on my Xbox One. I like getting them on PlayStation 4. Uh, so far, probably my favorite exclusive of the PS4 and the Xbox One is probably Bloodborne still. I like Sunset Overdrive on my Xbox One. I like it a lot. I probably should put more time into that. Quantum Break really let me down. I just was not excited by it. Halo 5, I've only put like two hours in. Uh, but it is good. It is more Halo. But I'm more into, especially Naughty Dog, oh god, anything they make, I'm just so excited about. I can't wait to get my hands on this game, I can't wait to review this game, uh, and I'm just excited to see what this game does for the gaming culture. Everybody's saying we're going to be talking about this thing in 10 years, who knows, we just might be. I like to see these new bars being set and met. If Naughty Dog can employ the right people, the right artists, the right programmers to get this kind of game out of the PlayStation 4 hardware, then other developers need to strive to do the same thing. I think it's incredible. The game is one of the most visually stunning games I've seen, and I haven't even seen it in full 1080p on my TV. I'm talking about watching YouTube videos, so I'm really excited about it. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you interested in getting Uncharted 4? Is this a game that you're going to be picking up? And uh, what do you think is going to be the exclusive that can top it? And what do you think is an exclusive that could actually top Uncharted 4 at this point? Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.